Day two is in the books here at the Big 12 Baseball Championship in Oklahoma City. K-State and Baylor headed home, but six teams still vying for the championship title. Here's a look back at all of the day two action. K-State got off to a quick start by jumping on the board early, but OU's bats came to life shortly after and they put the game away. After the first inning, the Sooners outscored K-State 13-5 while collecting 13 total hits. OU takes the win 13-7. Game two featured a completely different Texas Longhorns team than we saw on Wednesday night. Tress Barrera went three for five with four RBIs as he led the Longhorns to a 15 to three run rule victory over Baylor. This one is hit well. Deep to left center field by Barrera. On the run is Cunningham. It's going to get down and bounce off the wall. On to the next, the number one seeded Texas Tech Red Raiders took on one of the hottest teams in the Big 12 in West Virginia. It was a back and forth game early, but after the Mountaineers struck offensively, they never looked back. Kyle Davis racked up three hits and four RBIs on the afternoon, and West Virginia will head back to the field on Saturday. Final score, nine to four. In comes five, in comes Gray. On his way home is Galuski. Going to third is Kyle Davis, and West Virginia leads it six to three. And finally, game four. Now TCU and Oklahoma State both coming off strong day one performances, but the Horned Frogs were able to maintain that momentum late into Thursday night's game with back-to-back -back home runs from Evan Skaug and Big 12 Freshman of the Year, Luke and Baker. The Horned Frogs have this one 13 to five. This one is touched deep to left, and this one is gone. Now here's a look at Friday's two game schedule. Action will start up again here around 3 p.m. on Friday, so keep it locked into Big12Sports.com for all of the latest from the Big 12 Baseball Championship. From Oklahoma City, I'm Annabelle Stefan Harden, Big 12 Digital Network.